Hello, good morning. Okay, so I promised you guys that I would be doing this and I figured today would be the perfect day to actually start and do it. So hello, we are seven weeks out from the Mr. and Miss Lions Pro down in Guadalajara, Mexico. My name is Marissa Andrews, Marissa Andrio. Andrio in real life, Marissa Andrews on stage. I competed under Marissa Andrio at my first show ever, the Mel Chancy Holiday Classic. Marissa Andrio is a dog shit competitor. Marissa Andrio got dead last at a regional show in True Novice. Marissa Andrews is a two-time top 10 Olympian. So it's, um, <laughs> it's a little hard for me to want to go back by that first, my real name. But anyway, I just finished checking in. I check in every Monday. Soon those are going to be switched to either Friday or Saturday to more line up with the actual show day. But my check-in went really well today. I dropped another pound and a half this week. I dropped two and a half last week. But something that's really cool that I love to do is I like to compare my old preps with my current prep and see my body changes. So I look obviously week to week, how has my physique changed during this prep? But I love to look back and be like, okay, be nice to yourself because this sport is a marathon. Where have you, where were you at this point at seven weeks out last prep? My weight is two or three pounds higher than last prep, but you can see a crazy, really, really cool and exciting change in my upper glute, which is what they wanted. So I hope, I hope that this package is the best of my career. I honestly, I feel better than I have in any prep. I felt like I was burning out because I kept trying to be something and trying to be this person. But if I meant to be incredible, if you are meant to be something outside of the norm, then your average is going to be extraordinary. So that's what I've been doing. I've been showing up as Marissa Andrio, Marissa Andrew, showing up as me. And I feel really good. It's just, it's checking the boxes, eating the meals, doing the cardio, studying, showing up for us as my friends, showing up for my friends, showing up for my boyfriend, showing up for my family. I'm just existing. And it feels, it feels really, really good. This is my third season bodybuilding, right? I'm still learning this world. I have a little bit of imposter syndrome because I'm like, I feel like I'm just this girl that started working out and then threw on a pair of heels and got on stage. And all of a sudden now I'm on the Olympia stage. For my first Olympia, I felt like I was just pretending to be this person, you know, like I was putting on this facade and I was like, I was waiting for any moment for like people to be like, to figure it out be like, oh. She's not actually supposed to be here. My biggest thing going into the 2022 Olympia is I kept telling people, I'm like, I just don't want to get dead last. I just don't want to embarrass myself. I don't want dead last. I don't want dead last. And when they called my name into first call outs, if you watch the video, I didn't move. Sandy literally goes, can we have number one? And I thought she was gonna be like the number one first competitor and then pick another person. Number one, she goes, Marissa. And like, I literally was like, you can see on my face. I'm like, yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. And the entire time that first year I was in that first call out, all I kept saying in my head, and this is so sad, but I kept saying, just don't let them move you out of first call outs. That's, that was it. It wasn't you're fighting for the title. You are top 10 best in the world. None of that was internalized until months later. It was they made a mistake. You have to trick them into thinking that you deserve to be here, that you belong in this first call out. I was so excited that there was a point when they were moving people around and it was me and Francielli Matos dead center. Obviously I ended up seven, so they moved me, but there was a moment when they were moving people around and it was me and Francielli in dead center. And I locked eyes with my coach, Chris Garunlian, and he was crying. So I'm on stage. And if you go back and watch that video, you can literally see, I literally started crying on stage. And I'm like, like trying so hard to keep smiling. I couldn't look at him. I couldn't look at my coach and see how proud he was because it started, like it made me cry on stage. I cried on the Olympia stage. So I'm going to bring you guys along this time for sure. 
it's going to have to be very like Blair Witch Project esque vibe. Like these videos are going to be recorded on my phone. I've been wanting to make vlogs for so long. I see all these are like really cool vlogs and nice cameras and all this stuff. And like with my lifestyle, with what I'm doing, don't, I don't want it to sound like an excuse, but I like, I have such a high standard for everything that I do for myself, right? So I'm like, they need to be cinematic masterpieces. Like they need to be the ultra best camera and graphics and effects and AI and all this stuff. But I, fuck it. If you guys want to come along with me on this journey, then this this is how it's going to be filmed. It's seven weeks out. I'm going to go do some cardio. I just started coaching on Team Ludicrous this weekend, and I have a ton of onboarding calls today. So I need to get moving so I can go do my cardio and then get back and jump on those calls. Life is good. My heart is happy. This is going to be really, really, really fun to bring you guys along with me. Okay, so I just got done uh, pretending to do cardio because as I got to the gym, I decided to look at my new plan and I have no cardio for this week. So I got there. Um, I do have a step goal though. So I walked for 30 minutes on the treadmill, went and sat in the sauna. Um, and now I am here in Indiana for an extra day. So I ran out of my meal prep, which I use long life meal prep. Really. Colin had some extra chicken and tilapia in the freezer. So I'm filling out the tilapia, cooking some chicken. Okay, I'm gonna be real. I really don't cook. <laughs> um, ever since I started working with long life and like ordering from them, I, I haven't cooked like a year but when I do cook and if I do want to add extra seasoning I like to use the dash seasoning because it has no salt um, and then I can add my own pink Himalayan salt. Um, I have a call with Chris in two minutes. We're gonna go over my new athletes, make a game plan, talk strategy, talk a little bit about posing because as I'm coming on as a coach I'm also coming on as a posing coach for Team Ludacris. There's always an opportunity to learn and get better which I think is something that people in this sport need to fix their ego on a little bit. Like if you're Steph Curry and you have a basketball coach, no one bats an eye. They're like, yeah, makes sense, right? But if you are a posing coach and you have a posing coach, whew, like people are just so silly in dentistry. If I want to be a better dentist, I go to conferences. I go to conferences about things I wanna do better about. Does it make me a worse dentist? Let's say you go to the dentist and you're like, hey, I know you, we've been talking about getting some implants done. I just went to this course, learned all the new stuff about implants. I can't wait to do it. Wouldn't that make you feel better about your dentist being like, wow, they took the time, the energy, the effort to learn everything they could and they're still learning. Like there's still stuff to know. There's still like, it's like, why is bodybuilding any different? Like if you wanna be better, you learn. You never, like there's nobody on this planet that knows everything. Oh, I'm two minutes late to this call, bye. So I got caught up with some stuff and I haven't actually looked at my feedback yet. So we are going to do that together. Every check-in, Chris will record a video message, um, screen recording and doing all that stuff. So we're just gonna wait for that to load seven weeks out okay so last week I was at 157 pounds this week I am 155 my waist is down to 24 and a half inches last week it was 25 my glutes are 41 inches each quad is 26 um, what's cool though is my biceps are down to 11 inches last prep they were at 12.5 before that we were sitting at like 13 13 and a half so my upper body's come down a lot which is cool, which doesn't seem like it from this angle. Let's see what this man has to say. He's always got something to say. Good morning, Marissa. Hope you're doing good. I could drop specifically in the waistline. Obviously, we didn't drop as much, uh, but I'm, uh, I'm not concerned about that. Uh, nutritionally speaking, I'm going to add a refeed because uh, as I assuming that you've been, been so perfect on your plan, 
we're going to want you to have a repeat at this point also on your next leg day. Call that a repeat. It's like, hey, you're doing good. Have me some more carbs. As far as posing goes, I look let's good. take a look at this here. All right. So oh, I look so good. Poses I like a lot. So this is something I want us to review later on uh, in this here. All right. So side poses I like a lot. So this is something I want us to review later on uh, in regards to uh, you know posing techniques for wellness. You have very big legs, so in turn it creates that you know asymmetry from top to bottom. So that's where we're at. Obviously, we can discuss more uh, at 11 o'clock, but if you have questions, uh, bring it up. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. Hell yeah. Good morning, Marissa. No, oh, we already went over there. Chris thinks I have big legs. Pretty fucking tired. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. But I'm gonna do a full scoop of this. So, a uh, serving is a half a scoop. Oh. So, one scoop is like two servings. So I'm hoping that this wakes me up so I can go shove all of those carbs right into that upper glute. I am very uncomfortable with filming at a gym that's not my gym, so I don't know if I'll get any training footage. This is just basically what I do, you do a lot of that, a lot of thrusting. That's all. Wow, the bags under my eyes are ridiculous. Have they been like that all day? I want to go to bed so early. I want to go to bed so early today. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm supposed to do this. I'm st st like, I'm still just pretending to be an influencer. Um, I forgot. This is the pre-workout I legitimately use. <laughs> this is HD Black in Flavor Leche. You can use code MINIBEAST. To save. Okay, resume. <laughs> we are heading back to Michigan now. I had a long weekend here in Indiana. My stuff is packed. I have a giant suitcase, my duffel bag, my cooler, my big backdrop for when I do check-ins, and then my school bag. Uh, you need all of this stuff. Like, it's not like, uh, you, you need it all. <laughs> Should get home around noon. Yeah. Happy Tuesday. Got home and look who it is. Hi, little crackheads. Anyway, this is Dallas. I got approved to adopt that little guy when I was in finals at Texas Pro. And I made the decision that if I won the show, then I was gonna get him and name him Dallas because I was in Dallas to compete and he'd be my little victory kitty. Little did I know that he it would actually be the biggest pain in my ass. I love him, but he's a menace. Dallas, what would you like? He talks so much shit for someone who pays no bills in his house. But the thing is, I know exactly what he's screaming for because he has me trained very well. Watch. Dallas, do you want your laser pointer toy? There you go. Laser pointer, it's on. Hey, one brain cell boy. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good job. I just got home to a package from HD Muscle, and they said it's a new product that they're launching. Let's see what it is, shall we? So I don't know if it's launched yet. It probably will be by the time that I drop this video. So this is their HD Elite, which is their Stim Free, and it's in flavor tangerine. So I will train Thursday and give this a try. Actually, honestly, I could try like a little sip sip right now because there's no stim in it. The multivitamin. We're actually just gonna go ahead and take that at this exact moment. An hour until class. Cheers. I'm not even gonna pretend to list them all, but it's a lot of really good stuff. And let's try the sip of this, okay?
Oh shit, that's good. Hopefully I just get a really sick pump and I look vascular as hell so I can go flex on all of my classmates. I am heading to SimLab, which is Simulation Lab, which is what we do for the first two years before we start working on real patients in the clinic. Um, it's basically we have a mannequin and fake teeth that are designed to simulate, imagine that, simulate real teeth and real patients. So today I'm doing three different preparations. Um, it is like to get ready for my CSAs, clinical, I don't know, but we're getting ready. I need to look that up. What does CSAs even stand for? It's like clinical something assessment. Oh my God, I'm an idiot. Clinical skills assessment. God damn it. But I'm gonna try to get some videos today. I think it should be a good day to try to record some stuff. I would talk about my dick, but man, that should be a long story. The small joys in my life is that I always park right next to my best friend when we get to school. This is like literally, you can tell she's doing my rubber ducky. And then she has this little ornament there too. very necessary cockroach. So you know how, so you know how nor okay, so you know how normal people do like wake up with me. Oh, he's in there like all aesthetic and cute. Um, we're gonna do a very real get good morning with me. Um, with three cats. So I like to start my day, um, every morning, getting serenaded. I'll just come here. Alfie is the only one who can control himself. So that's why Alfie is allowed on the chair while I prep his food. Dallas, absolutely not. The chorus that I wake up to every morning. Is this what you'd like? They just get really excited. All right, now that um, the cats have had their morning, now it's time for Marissa's morning. I start every morning with a scoop of creatine. No. Well, yes, but this is the glutamine. So I want two scoops of glutamine and a scoop of creatine. A little squeezy magoo of lemon juice. So I'm going to finish this. Um, today, since I don't have fasted cardio, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and have meal one. And honestly, I kind of want to do cardio before I eat, so I'm probably gonna walk for like 30 minutes and play Xbox. And I just kind of hang out here, play Xbox, track my steps with my Apple Watch, um, and it's really nice. I am going to head to the gym. 
and train glutes and hams. We need to get a song playing so I can like, mm, 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 mm. Play Yikes by Nicki Minaj. Yikes, what's the hype? This is something like, yikes, out of town. I, I keep two bands here. Woke up to a bad bitch, be like, I think you find here. Yeah. I don't play with demons, they ain't get me behind here. Yeah. About to get fucked up on my garita with two limes, yeah. joining me on this first week of vlogging, obviously. I'm still new to this, but I appreciate you guys bearing with me and coming along for the ride. And I hope that they become better, but in order to make them better, you guys have to let me know what you liked, let me know what you wanna see more of, let me know all the different thoughts you have, um, write down in the comments. Um, and I think that it's legally obligated that I have to say like and subscribe. <laughs> As of today, we are 42 days out of my show. So, all right, the next vlog is gonna start with my check-in just like it did this week. And I'm very excited to keep filling you guys in and keep showing you what I'm doing. Mwah. See you next week. <laughs>